Hi, this is another BiteWiser.com tutorial. This is a second in a two-part series on how to make a cartoon eyeball and iris. In the first tutorial we went over how to make the iris and Inkscape. In this tutorial we're going over how to make the eyeball using Blender and then bringing over the iris that we made in Inkscape and applying it. So we'll get started. Uh, here's Blender. So let's go ahead and go into Cycles and delete these two objects. Very good. Now let's go ahead and add our UV sphere. That's going to be our eyeball. We'll want the segments and rings to be the same, so let's make the segment 16. Rotate that along the x-axis 90 degrees by pressing R, X, and 90. There we go. And so our eyeball is facing this way. Our pupil is going to be in here somewhere, and our iris, iris will be somewhere around here. So let's go into tab into edit mode here, and Let's go ahead and, whoop, wrong, wrong view. Okay, control numpad three to go to this view. That's just how I want to do it. And I'm gonna go into orthographic mode by pressing numpad five. And let's press B and select these vertices here. And I'm gonna be deleting those. So just delete vertices. And let's alt right click on this edge loop here press E then Y to extrude along the Y axis and you can see how far we're bringing that back that ought to be good and let's scale it down by pressing S okay and let's turn off this and we need to close up this hole so let's start making some quads here so we'll make this quad here make this quad here and let's throw in some edge loops here so we can make some quads up here to fill up the holes well, up here and down here. So control R and then mouse wheel up twice to get three edge loops. Left click once, right click once to leave them in place. And that put us into edge mode now. So let's go back into vertex mode and let's just select some vertices here, close them up by pressing F. That'll, I guess, make a face. So let's just get all these guys. Make sure you don't get any of the vertices back there. I'm trying really hard to say vertices and not vertexes. Okay, so now we got that. And we can go ahead into object mode, tab into object mode. And let's select our smooth shading. And what we need here is we need the iris and the pupil to be a little more defined. It's kind of rounded right now just with the smooth, smooth shading. So we'll go into here into the modifier tab and let's go and find edge split and there you go it's nice and crisp now and we'll want to round this up a little bit you know smooth it down a little bit more so we'll do a control 2 to add our subdivision surface modifier and where are we at here okay so let's go ahead and right click, alt right click on this edge loop here and do a control E and mark a seam. The reason why we're going to do that is because when we go and UV modify this it'll be a lot easier to have this piece in here be UV mapped separately from the rest of the eyeball out here. So let's go ahead and UV map this thing go right here into the node editor uh, sorry not node editor UV image editor and let's go and open our image and we're gonna go find the image that we made in the previous tutorial and you can download this at bitewiser.com I will have a link uh, underneath the description uh, of this video here in YouTube you can go follow that link and grab this uh, file if you'd like so let's go ahead and select all these guys here and press U, oh, U, unwrap. And what we have here is all the stuff, all the vertices right here, those are going to be the whites of the eyeball. So we don't want that touching any of the blue, any of the iris or the pupils. So let's scale that down, something like that, and move it into the white area. Anywhere is fine in the white area. So let's press B and select this. This is the iris and the pupil and move that right into the middle here. Something like that. And then scale her up. And scale a little bit more. 
and it's a, just slightly off center so let's just move that okay and unselect everything by pressing A let's press B here and just select all these vertices in the middle scale them down so that they're right around the pupil just like that and so now we've UV mapped it now we can go ahead and apply our material for our uh, eyeball so let's go ahead and click on the material tab new and we'll call this material eyeball and let's go and leave that as the diffuse material go over here to this dot next to color image texture and again go search for the image that we made in the first tutorial there under vector we want UV and that ought to be good uh, so now what we need so that we can even see any of this is we need uh, some planes of light so that we can see all this so let's add a plane drag it over here and I'm going to rotate along the x-axis and I'm going to rotate along the z-axis just a little bit kind of like that um, and I'm just going to move them over here make them big uh, I want to rotate him more like that and bring him up a little bit so if I looked at it straight on that's what we would have and I want to duplicate this guy so I'm going to do a shift D move him along the x-axis and press R and then Z to rotate him along the z-axis and kind of do this number here so what I want to do now is I want to click on the object tab here go down to ray visibility in the corner here and uncheck camera and I want to do the same thing with this guy here so that that way when we render our scene these planes won't be in the view of the camera because as you can see I'm in camera view here and these planes are clearly in the way so and I want to move this camera anyways something like that and also I do want to hide the, oh, I do want to hide these panels so just for now so okay here we are in camera mode click on the frame here and just drag it into focus or maybe not focus but where you want it to be and let's go ahead and oh uh, one more thing before I forget let's go to our plane and we need to actually make <laughs> I need to bring back those planes I got a little bit ahead of myself here so alt H to bring them back and let's click on this plane and add a light material so call that light and the surface will we'll use an emission shader and we'll set the strength to say 2 and we want the same for this guy so we'll go find him in the list here light very good okay so now, now I can go ahead and hide this guy and this guy and let's go ahead and render this and see what we get and we got a nice little eyeball here not too bad uh, it's a little bit grainy because I need to turn up my samples so let's go down to sampling oh, I got a double click issue with my mouse here it's starting to go so I'm going to turn up the samples here to say 50 let's go ahead and render that one more time and it's not looking too shabby that does look like an eyeball now one more way that we can make this just a little bit better is if okay it's done rendering one more way we can make that look a little bit better is if we go and add another UV sphere here and you can see that the UV sphere and this eyeball are kinda of overlapping a little bit we'll clear that up in a second first let's smooth this and press control 2 to add our subsurf modifier and we'll want to scale this up to pretty much envelop the eyeball here and that's because this is going to be the glossy part of the eye and we'll do that real quick by adding another material go to new and we'll just call it gloss let's go into the node editor click on use nodes and click on this material icon here and we can delete the diffuse shader here because we're not going to use that. Now let's go under shader by pressing shift A and we want a transparent shader. Let's move that here. 
we want a glossy shader so let's move that here and we also want a mix shader to mix the two so let's bring those in here and I've done a little bit of experimenting with this and what I liked was that the factor value here was 0.1 and the roughness here is 0 and I turned down the alpha value, I, I cranked the white value here and then I turned the alpha value down to about 10% so about 0.116 and that should be good so let's go ahead and render our eyeball now let's see what we get and you can see the two white uh, the, the two light planes being reflected here in the eyeball and that looks really cool so we got our eyeball uh, it's still rendering so I will just wait for this to render before I go on here okay there we go so that's, a, that's the rendered version of the eyeball with the lens cover here. And here's an example. This is our new mascot for BiteWiser.com. That's uh, what we're calling Reggie. And that was him before he got rigged up and everything. Uh, he's been rigged since, but you, know, you can come and see him at our website now. But you can see here with the eyeballs, I did the same basic thing. You, know, you can see the the reflection in his eyes and everything and it looks pretty cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, come come back to bitewiser.com anytime I got plenty of tutorials and stuff that you can look at there and other things so see you later thanks for watching bye